Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Pearl. I am going to be showing you how I get my 4C hair to this without using any heat. I always admired when I see people with their hair slicked down, no bumps and humps anywhere, but that wasn't really a style that I knew how to achieve. But I finally found something that works for me and I don't have to use heat. I don't want to have to always blow dry my hair before slicking it down. Apart from that, I do not enjoy having the thick gels in my hair. I don't like how stiff they feel. I don't like the amount of product that I have to put into my hair for it to slick back down. I don't like having to wash all of that out of my hair as well. If that sounds like something that you don't like, this video might be for you. If you watch this video and enjoy it, please do like the video and subscribe. I would love for you to stay and join me on this journey. I just want to add, as you watch this video, my intention is not to have my hair slicked down like any other hair type. My hair is 4C, it is curlier. I do want you to see some of the texture that it has. However, I just want the slicked down look. I think it makes you look put together and I also love how it just brings out your facial features. If you're going to be doing this hairstyle for a couple of days, obviously you want your hair to be clean. So you want to start with freshly washed hair. Moisturize your hair as you always do as normal. If you're interested in what I use to moisturize my hair, I do have a video where I wash my hair and I show all the products that I use to wash and to moisturize. So if you would like, you could check that out, but you moisturize with whatever you use. I am just putting the, making sure my hair is properly detangled in the back. And I'm going to put in a twist after moisturizing it so that it doesn't shrink. My hair is probably like 75 to 80% dry. After your hair is moisturized, it's time to make the ponytail. It's also really important that your hair is well detangled because if it's not, this is just going to take way longer. But yeah, as you moisturize your hair, just comb through and make sure that there are no tangles. The product I'm going to be using is by We Dodd. It's a styling and shaping gel cream, and this one is made for tighter curls and coils. Some tools that you're going to need, a brush, hair tie, and a smaller bristle brush. I've had this brush for like forever. This was like the first brush that I ever bought. It has lasted better than any of the other brushes I have ever had, and it's so tiny. But anyway, a smaller bristled brush. Once you take the product, it is sort of like a clear, let me see. Oh, I didn't show it. It's a clear gel. Yeah, it's a clear gel and it's not very sticky. It's very loose. So you take the product, rub it in your hands, and slather it onto your hair. How much you use really depends on your hair. If you think you need more, just add more. And if you think you need less, just add less. You can start with a little and then keep on adding if you think you need more. Once I put the gel, I then brush. Then I take my, what is it called? My hair tie, then I take my hair tie, well, <laughs> Then I take my hair tie and I tie that together. I'm a lower ponytail girl, so I put it down here. If you want it higher, you can sort of push it higher, but you still want to be able to move it after you're done with your whole head. I also put a twist in it just so the hair doesn't shrink. I will be next taking the sides of my hair and leaving the middle part for last. Same thing, I take my gel, slather it onto my hair, Brush the hair to the back and tie the ponytail I made and put those two together. Then I just put a twist in like I did to the other one. I will do the same thing to the side. Now for the middle part of my head. This is not the part where you decide where you want your part. Actually, if you wanted it on this side, you would have done that already, but I want mine in the middle of my head. I think this is my middle. Quite honestly, it's never really in the middle. It's always just a little bit off. I don't know why, but that looks like my middle. I think this is my middle. My eyes hurt from looking so hard. I will put this side away while I do the other side. Doing this normally takes me less than 30 minutes. Again, if your hair is detangled well, it shouldn't take you that long. I know you're like, mm -mm, trust the process. 
So I grab the side, slather my gel on the top and the bottom, and brush through. Your brush needs to be able to slide through the hair without any resistance. Once I brush it, I take it to the back. Let's see? Yep. Take it to the back. Take off my ponytail. Also, make sure that this middle part of your head is combed through. Okay, now this is the part where if your ponytail is not going to be so high, you can move it up and down. If you wanted it up, you would just pull the hair up and obviously brush the back brush the back but I like my ponytail down so I'm going to move it down and then tie it. It shouldn't be uncomfortably tight. Once that is done I grab some more of the gel and I put it on the front of my head. My edges are growing back so my hair is not even everywhere and you know some of the parts of the front of your head are just shorter than the others. The gel everywhere. Don't forget the back. Then I take my little brush and I brush it all back. If I want to move the hair a little bit, I do get a comb and help it spread out. I hope that makes sense. Like that. Just making sure it's looking like even all the way throughout my head. So this is what it is going to look like. Obviously, if you need more gel to help it lie down more, you can add more. I think for me, this is good enough. Also, if you're an edges girl and you like to lay your edges, this is the part where you would do that. I think I'm pretty satisfied with how it's looking. Now I take the back. For now, I'm just going to brush through it and braid it so that it can stretch. Once I am finally happy with how it's looking, this is the part where you would put on a scarf. Personally, I don't put on a scarf. I use a little head cap. I think or imagine that it helps my hair dry quicker. I might be wrong, I don't know. Put on my hair cap gently, making sure to try not to shift. Any of the hair. If your ponytail is high, probably using a scarf would be a good idea because you need the back of your head to lay down really flat. But my ponytail is quite low and you will most likely not see the back of my head. So I just use a cap and let it air dry. If you don't have time, you can actually sit under a hooded dryer. I have done that before. But if you don't want to put any heat in your hair, you just wait for it to air dry. So I'm going to let it air dry for a couple of hours and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. It has been almost three or four hours and my hair feels dry. It feels somewhat dry from just touching it over the cap. I am going to take this off and we're going to see how it came out. I hope I didn't waste my morning. Ah. So this is what it's looking like with the cap taken off immediately before I touch it. If there's anything that I see that I don't like, I just go ahead and take my brush and some gel. Let's see, like over here, or even some water. Sometimes I have used water, but I'll take that and just brush over. That's the point where I would use a headscarf, but because it's only the front of my head, I'm just going to use this. As for like the ponytail itself, what I normally do is just do some twists and tie it back, which is what I'll do now. This is my final result. I was pretty happy with how it came out and I just love how you can actually see the texture in my hair. What I love about this hairstyle is that you can add some extensions to it to give yourself some length or you can just keep it as is. 
throughout the week what I would normally do is just tie my hair down if I do see that any parts of my hair are lifting up I just put some gel and tie it down another thing that I will sometimes do to give it some shine is get some oil put it on my hands and just rub it on top and it gives it a very nice shine so those are some things that you can do to try and maintain this style if you do want to keep it for a couple of days throughout the week thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one